a little sad. I'm done with life. It's overrated. But what else is there? Death? I mean, my entire life I thought it was necessary. It was just something I had to do. But it makes people unhappy. Necessary. Hello, it is not Friday, it is Sunday, and it is time for another vlog. Last night we arrived in Vegas after a week of driving a lot, a lot of stuff. We saw a bunch of cool things as you saw in the in the video before this. So last night we arrived and we went down the strip of Vegas. <laughs> Do not disappoint. That is kind of like an amusement park. A lot of lights. So why am I this red in the head, you ask? Well, I've just been working out. As you can see, of my my tint in red. Las Vegas has kind of always been here, but uh, as they built the Hoover Dam, a lot of work came out here. And then at some point they kind of decided to kick the mafia out here and legalize gambling and all the prostitutes showed up and then it became the city. So I've just taken a shower 
and now I'm not that red in the head anymore. Or maybe I am. No, we live at the stratosphere, which is at one end of the strip. I think it's the northern end. And if uh, stratosphere, as you can see up there, let's just have it focus. Stratosphere it has a big tower up there. That's it's pretty much what it's famous for. It is the biggest freestanding tower. But the thing is that the casino doesn't really like me filming in there because it's all, you know, cheating and stuff like that. I can film up from the pool, or I can film up from the hallway or the room, but I can't really film from in there, which is fine, I guess. It's when Arizona is an amazing state to ride in. The funny thing is, when we think about Texas Prairie, uh, the Cowboys, we were thinking about Arizona. That's how Arizona looks. Texas is just big and has nothing. It has really cool people, but don't really have any scenery in it because it's just big. But Arizona is. It's awesome, but it has also been between 35 and 40 degrees Celsius when we've been driving, and you can kind of compare that to being sitting on if you if you're sitting on a motorcycle and you're going really fast, like 120 kilometers an hour, it still feels like a hair blower blowing on you. That's how hot it is. So I have a nice little thing here, sun uh, sunburn here, even though I had sunblocker on. We're gonna go out, we're gonna experience Las Vegas for one day because tomorrow we're going to LA and then we're going home. So, yeah, I'm gonna go get my dad. So the stratosphere has two pools. It has one on the eighth floor, which I, I am on right now, which is a big family area. And it has one on the 25th floor, which I'm not really allowed to film up there because that is where you're not, you can choose to not wear your top part as a woman. The thing with Las Vegas was that when, when the Mafia really owned this place and there was a lot of hookers and a lot of drugs and a lot of soldiers out here, there was came this, this guy with a lot of money and he bought most of the strip and he kind of decided all of this, all these drugs, all of these prostitutes wasn't really a good thing. So he just, so they started just more thinking about the family. So these kind of pools and attraction into, came along. Most people, of course, go to Vegas because of the gambling. I'm not interested in that. I'm interested in the shows. I really want to go see in Penn and Teller at the Rio, but it is so loud, so I'm not able to. And we are on our way. So the strip is around 6.8 kilometers long. It has 25 of the biggest hotels in the world on it, and it has approximately 62,000 rooms. And it is a circus. Everything. It is whatever you want it to be. It is the Sin City. But right now, we're going in there to just... I'm gonna get some shoes, because... Who doesn't like shoes? My dad is talking to his brother right now who lives here over here. And this usually takes a long time. I'm gonna go to the sunglass hut to see if I can get a pair of Ray Bans cheaper than I would be able to at home. And then we're gonna go meet up with my uncle's wife, Henne. Uh, she is here also on business and we're gonna go to the Hard Rock Cafe and uh, see what's going on and we're gonna check out the strip during the day, which would be kind of awesome. That was that. We have now officially driven 3,700 miles, just under 7,000 kilometers. And right now they are packing up. Let's see you can see the We are packing up the bikes and uh, we are leaving them. I have to repack everything because this morning I was so smart to forget my keys in the room, so I had to pull everything out of my bag just to see if they were there and I have to repack that so but yeah 3700 miles on shitty roads I'm sorry America you have shitty roads so this is recorded a little earlier because I'm right now I'm in Grand Canyon and I just got, had a bunch of stuff come to my in my mind and I wanted to get it out what is my experience of riding on a Harley well I'm actually quite split on it because 
First of all, the 107 Milwaukee engine, the new engine they make, it is amazingly fast. It has a lot of headroom, it has a lot of everything. And when you're on the freeway, you can just feel it just keep going, keep going, keep going. Kind of similar to the V-Rod that they made. I will also say that I have driven now 3,700 miles and I'm not tired of driving. I could do this another week. I could, I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna go drive with Jonathan. It was gonna be amazing. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I'm not tired of driving. My ass is not sore. My back is, well, my back is a little hurt, but that's really not the bike's fault. That's my own fault. I will just say, I'm, I'm, I'm just not feeling it. I would rather have done this on my own Honda. But I'm glad I did it on a Harley because it's in the States and you're supposed to do it on a Harley. But I'm, I, I would like to do this on my own Honda because I feel more connected to it. I feel more more in touch with what is, is going on and it does everything for me. I, I just I hear the cylinder more than the exhaust. My end result will be that if you want to do it, go goddamn do it. It is amazing and you're supposed to do it on a Harley and do it on a Harley. Probably don't do it on a street glide. It is nice with the front end, so you don't get that much wind, but uh, this one, the front end here, but it's just not, I don't feel it. If, if you're into that stuff, do it. If, if, but if you like me, you, you like feeling what's going on, do it out and just, if you want music or anything, just put it in your ear. So I just walked around my bike, or well, their bike, but the bike I drove, and I think it passed. This is the last look you will have of it. 3,700 miles on this thing or little thing. This is, they said I would, have, I would have a feeling of not wanting to leave it, but the truth is that my ass is sore. I'm, I'm okay with it right now. I'm, I'm not tired, I'm not tired of driving though. I'm, I can go for another mile, I just don't wanna drive right now and I'll probably miss it in a week or so. So here we go. Hollywood Boulevard. That is where Hollywood Boulevard Walk of Fame with all the stars are. Also where the Chinese theater, I can't remember the name, but it is down there. And there's a lot of people dressing up as famous actors or superheroes as well. And I'm not allowed to film them though, because that's how they make the money, by having picture taken. It's a little sad. So right now, I kind of lost my dad. I'm gonna go down a little, uh, just to uh, just check out some of the stars. There's David Carriage. Just walked up and down, treat a little. It actually is not that far before it just starts being nothing. I will say that people are quite aggressive to make money in here. They will get in your head to get what they want, which is a little annoying. You've seen it on, you know, television a bunch of times. You've seen it in movies, and it's actually quite cool being here. So I can definitely recommend it. But they are quite aggressive here, and it is basically just souvenir stores and theaters and giant theater, which is massive. Huge! Hello and welcome to Santa Monica Pier. Whenever you see a pier on television with a carnival on it, that's this one. And it is cold. We're walking from the pier down to Venice Beach. That's a bit of a walk, but we're gonna make it.
big ocean to get there. Also, I'm quite jealous of all the longboards and skateboarding down here. I would like to do that. I'm about to go down, take the last steps and have gone coast to coast. And it's, I will say that this has been an experience. It has been a, a lot of things. It's been something I would like to do again. For, for the first time, my tattoos has worked against me by attracting people. All the people who want to hand me their CDs because they think I'm like a cool rap dude. They just don't just want to give me a CD. They want money for it. I've already had three coming up, going through all the works of giving me and then I'm me saying I'm not gonna give you money and then them taking it back. So here are my tips if you want to go and drive in the United States on a motorcycle. First of all, know how to drive information. It is critical that you know that because you, if, you're gonna, if you're fucking up, you're fucking up for everyone. Especially because the one in the front and the one in the back don't drive equally. The one in the front drives slower and the one in the back drives faster because it's a, like an elastic. They, they have to they have to keep up all the time. A few things I've learned is don't travel with old people. They can be more rude than young people. Also, if you want to drive a Harley, please know what a Harley is. Because a Harley is not like other motorcycles. It is way more difficult, it's way more temperamental, and it's not a really it's not not a good motorcycle, actually. It, but it sounds great and it is a Harley, it looks good. I can't believe I'm in I'm in LA. I'm where all my idols are. I Justine, Chris Hardwick, Nerdist, Adam Carolla, Joe Rogan, Kevin Smith, uh, Jenna Marbles. Uh, and then please just do what the Americans do. Don't be a goddamn tourist. Please just tip the right amount. Don't be mad when they do stuff the, another way that you do because it's not it's their country. I'm out Venice Beach, it's here, it's here that Baywatch got recorded. That's pretty that's pretty awesome. And and just enjoy yourself. It is it's fatty food, it is all that things, but just enjoy yourself and see the scenery because we don't have that where I live. So it is really awesome to be here and you kind of get jealous of the people who can just ignore it because they've seen it all the time. I won't say that America had changed me. I'm not a, like a supporter or anything. It is still a major, major experience and I hope that I hope that I can bring some people along to do it again. Not Maybe not coast to coast, but some of the good parts. But this is the end of the traveling part of this vlog. Uh, it's not the end of the vlog because the vlog will keep going on because when I get home, I have the Nordic Noise Festival and I will of course film that as well. The only thing I can say is see you later! Noise Festival, where I will be the sound guy. Ooh, let's see. It is my gold mixer. I am the sound guy, and we just put everything up today, and uh, we're ready to launch soon. The first band, Young Guy Drive, is playing, and uh, that's gonna be it for this band. The last time I did something, it, had actually, it has actually been 24 hours. I'm standing here with my good friend, Soren. Yeah. But you can't say Soren if you're from Nadia. You will probably say Soren. 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 Soren, that's the word. He's from Blast Beat and he is providing this awesome music that's playing out of this. It's perfect. It's perfect. And in these last few vlogs, you haven't really seen Jonathan because he hasn't been with me in the States. But guess what? He's right there. Yeah. <laughs> he is right there. Look at him. He looks busy. He is the man of this festival. I I be manager. Is that correct? I have 
I have to show you something. I have to show you something. A video. Video? But it's, it's in Danish, so I don't know if oh, uh, uh, any of your international followers will get <laughs> my one follower, which is pretty much just my mom. So, I want to promote another vlog. Say hello. Hello. What's the name of your vlog? Um, I think it's only my name, Mark Thoman. Mark Thoman? Yeah. Go check that out. Yeah. And also, hello. He is the first one who's actually recognized me, which is a little amazing. I do that every day. Yeah, but you, you, can link to my, <laughs> you can link to my vlog. I can link to the vlog, I will. But you have to keep making them though. Uh -huh. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I'm sorry. And cut to me here. Sorry, there isn't any more. Just didn't have the time. It was just too much to do. This is the end of this vlog. This is the end of the America travel vlog. And I hope you enjoy this because I think I'm gonna make one more few months from Berlin. And uh, hopefully many more from that. So I'm home. I've been going to work for a week now. It is. It sucks. I, I want to be back, I want to do other things, but I'm out driving my own bike right now. Uh, it feels good. It's funny when you drive a Harley, it, you, you come back and you your own engine and you just feel how easy that is. It's just too easy to put it in uh, neutral and easy to clutch out and clutch in and yeah, yeah, it's Harley, it's a... Uh, I've had a few days to think about now and Harley, it is, it is a good uh, engine, it is a good bike, but Sorry, just nothing compared to the other, but the thing you have that the others doesn't have is that you're a Holly. You sound right and the feeling is different. Because when I came back to my, I had, I'd uh, bought a 1635 cc's and I went back to a 750 cc's now and it's just not the same. I, I feel like it's moped now. Yeah, so this got out a little late. Sorry, I changed my computer and like an asshole, I forgot to move the movie from the old one to the new one before I sold it. And uh, I just had, yeah, there was a bunch of stuff. So you get it now and then you get another one soon. So I hope that would be nice. So until next week where I will be driving with Jonathan to, in Sweden. And I will, of course, bring that. Have a very, very, very nice week.